Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, it is Jesus. It is Jesus. And his love has made us whole. Has made us whole. Greetings at home, viewers. I love you so much. I love you so much all over the world. Those that are watching with us, those that are fellowshipping with us, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Yes, his love has made us whole. Yes, his blood has washed us and cleansed us. This morning, we are going to pray. Before I pray, I want to honor my father, uh, my mentor, my everything, Apostle Kenneth C.J. Chris. Uh, I love you, my father, for allowing me to sit in this platform and share the intercession. Thank you. Thank you. I want to honor my father, Professor Lisefo Daniel, my mentor, my spiritual father. I honor you, Daddy, and I love you. I love you. I love you so much. You as at home, I honor you, those who are watching with us, those who are believing in this platform of Rabbonite International Ministries. Those who don't know me, I'm under the leadership. I'm Apostle Chesri under the leadership of Apostle Kenneth Chris. The ministry is Rabbonite International Ministries. Amen. Amen. Rabbonites International Ministries, we are going to pray. Before we pray, I want to go straight to the book of Isaiah. I want to talk about the book of Psalm. I want to talk about David. I want just to exalt you. Before you pray, be exalted. <laughs> Ooh, I love prayer. I love prayer. That's the way we communicate with our Father. He said pray without ceasing. Amen. We hear David. He loved God so much and he understood holiness. He understood holiness. As much as he will praise him and say, you are beautiful. As much as he will praise me and say, I, 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 though I walk under the shadow of the, sh the valley of the shadow of death, I fear nothing. You are with me. But he knew that this God, that he is weak. He knew that he had to humble himself before him. He knew that he, he, he had to, 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 to lower himself. He says, uh, uh, he says uh, wash me, make me whiter, cleanse me. Hey, Although he will stand on the altar and praise his God and dance unto his God, but he knew that this God of mine, I have to be a child. We hear him in the book of Psalms 51. He is saying, I sing only to you. <laughs> oh yeah, Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. I pray that in the name of Jesus, you will give them understanding, those that are listening. You will give them wisdom. You will give them knowledge. Father, I declare that they are blessed with us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. David is saying, 
uh, if we read at Psalms, the book of Psalms, let's quickly go to the book of Psalms 51. Amen. Psalms 51. Psalms 51. Psalms 51, verse 1. He, 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 David is saying, Have mercy on me, O God. Amen. He is pleading with the Father, Have mercy on me, O God. Hallelujah. Hmm. He said, because your love is an unfailing love. David took advantage of the unfailing love of the Father. We are going to pray. But when we pray, we must remember that we are his children. We humble ourselves. We touch the Father where he cannot say no when he pray. Because we know, we are aware that sin, sin, unrighteousness separates us from the Father. Some might ask how. Because uh, this grace is sufficient. This grace is sufficient. Hmm? 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 How many times did you feel that now I'm shifted from this grace? You at the home. David humbled himself. said, Lord, God, have mercy on me. He continued to say, wash me. But there's something that I like on, 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 on David. Because he says, have mercy on me, oh God, because of your unfailing love. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. He is touching who God is. He kind of reminds God that you, my father, you have the unfailing love. There's no way the father cannot answer David. Because although he, he humbled himself, he said, you uh, 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 he have mercy on me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Mm. Because of David here is praying a prayer of faith. He has faith to that unfailing love of the Father. We are going to pray. But when we pray, let's re be reminded that the God that we serve is the God of righteousness. Because we cannot win the world and we are not righteous. How can we pray for righteousness if as ourselves we are unrighteous? We cannot give what we do not have. Amen. Hallelujah. We cannot give what we do not have. David understood the secret in this mystery that for me, for me to stand and, 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 and pray for the nation, for me to stand and pray for my children, for me to stand and pray for this that you gave me, Lord. I need the forgiveness. I need your mercy. I need you to remember your unfailing love. Amen. If you look at verse 2, he said, wash me from my guilt. That's confession. Wash me. 
child of God, don't be scared to say, Lord, I've seen here. Lord, I've done what is not right in front of you. And sin separates us from you. Cleanse me. Wash me. Because they desire a contract spirit. I want you to quickly go to the book of John 17. We are going to pray. John 17. Ne? John 17. Let's go to the book of John 17. Say I'm blessed and I'm highly blessed. I want us to look at the book of John 17. John 17 and Psalms 51. I want us to check now David is praying a prayer. Of, of forgiveness. Uh, David is humbling himself to the Father. He says, wash me, wash, cleanse me. Because he knew to stand with the Father in the warfare. Father needs a contract spirit, a clean spirit. Now, when you look at the prayer of Jesus Christ, in John 17, verse 6, he says, I have revealed you to those whom you gave me. Hmm. Out of this world. They were yours, you gave me, and they were obeyed. They obeyed. They have obeyed your words. They were washed. They were purified because Jesus Christ was clean and he's still clean. I'm talking about this Jesus, not that Jesus. I'm talking the Jesus that is in us. Listen, listen, listen to verse 8. He says, for I gave them the word you gave me and they accepted them. Here we see the prayer of, of David humbling himself. And we know that our father, our father loves the, 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 the spirit, the person that is humbled. If he knew that, yeah, I mess up, humble yourself. Don't be worried about what people say or people might say because you only sing to the Father. There's a kid there. David understood that I didn't sing to these people, but I sing to you. Because David knew that if he's righteous, uh, he is in the right standing with the Father. He is in the right standing with these people. But now we see Jesus Christ said, I gave them the word you gave me. Eh? The word purifier, it cleanses, it penetrates, it sharpens, it revives your mortal body. He is saying here, I gave them the word that you have gave me. And they have accepted it. Accepting the word of God makes you to be clean in front of him. That's why it says in the book of Revelation, they overcame by the word of their testimony and the blood of Jesus. We see a shadow, David saying, Father, wash me, understanding that there is a washing. Ha, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He understood the washing of the blood. He understood that with the blood, when I'm cleansed, I'm in the right standing. David is seeking the right standing with God. So that's when he just said, that intercession prayer, go in the realm of the spirit and rearrange things. Hmm. Hmm. 
Amen. He understood that if I pray and I'm not clean, I'm not washed, I don't have the Holy Spirit in me. He knew that I'm bewitching myself. David was avoiding something. He avoided witching himself. You pray for someone who is sick and you know that your heart is not clean. That sickness jumps from that person to you. Hmm? Eh? Are you hearing me? We are going to pray. Hallelujah. We pray according to the word. We pray according to the, to the will and the command of the master. The master desire a contract spirit, a clean heart. We can pray and make noise. We can pray in many times. We can pray and people clap hands and do this. But if our sins are before us and we do not confess to the Father, we are witching ourselves. You will see yourself not prospering. This is the year of glory. This is the year of joy. But you will find calamity. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus said, I have gave them the words. And now I know that, Father, they have accepted the words that are coming from you. Then he said, I pray for them. I pray for them. I'm not praying for the world, but to those you have given me. We are going to pray. I want us to pray for the body of Christ. I want us to pray for each other. But if we pray for each other with that spirit, we are watching them, we are watching us. <laughs> yes, yes. Witchcraft, it's not only going and taking moods. Dirty heart, it's witchcraft. Hmm? You pray for, 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 for Palestinian. You are praying for Palestinian. I'm praying for Palestinian. I'm praying for Palestinian. Deep down you say, you ha, ha, but I prefer Israel. I prefer Israel. That is witchcraft. I love them all. You love them all. Because we want to win souls. The father is interested in soul winning. I want you to pray. But now I want us to pray for the body of Christ. We pray that the body must be intact hmm? with the head. I want us to pray that the body must be intact with the head. Jesus is the head of the church. Let's stop criticizing each other. We are watching ourselves. We are giving the enemy a chance to enter. If we start criticizing, criticizing, murmuring, being busy, buddy. I want us to be busy, buddies in our prayer rooms. Let's pray for the world. Let's pray that this word of God must be preached without wavering. Let's pray that the word of the Lord must be preached with purity. We see with our father, Professor Mr. Daniel, we've learned from our mentor that the word, when he, when he teaches the word, it manifests. There is a confirmation that indeed the father is back 
in this word. Like Jesus Christ now, he's praying, said, Father, I pray for them because I gave them the word and they accepted the word. Let the word manifest wherever they go. Let them disappear. But this word. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Jesus said, I give them myself. Because he came. The word was there in the beginning. And the word became flesh. He's saying, I give them myself. And they have accepted me. Now I pray for them. I do not pray that they must be taken out of this world. I pray that they must, they, they, they must be sustained in this world. That I pray for them that they must be sustained in the tribulation. I want you to pray when you pray for the body. Pray that the body must remain. Whether they're shaking or not, the body must remain, must not give in. You know, our father once, uh, Professor Lisko Daniel once uh, said, if I give you Christ, I give you everything. If I give you the word, I give you everything because everything comes from the word. Do you need money? Hmm? Do you need a job? Jesus Christ said, I gave them myself. I gave them myself. I do not know now when you complain, when you say this and that, because I gave you myself. Let's pray, Father, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Master. Thank you, glorious Jesus. Ah, makahi chakalabasa kamande de basuta. Akute le boshia andalia ata. Ande esekete makuta lia azekete. Rikamando li basuta kalia ata li basata. Rekete lia ande de boshia ata. Makute le bosi kamande de boshaka. Di brakadus kerete le boshaka. Father, the word is given. Makuta lia ata. Father, you have given yourself for the salvation of those mighty God that are caged by the kingdom of darkness, for the salvation of the wavering branches from the vine. We pray for the body of Christ. Makuta liya ata, we pray for the body. Aka ita ita mande lebosha. That it must remain with the head that is Christ. Rakata ni baba basita. For he says, if you abide in me, rakuta liya ata, I will abide in you. Mandaliya ata kaliba suta kayanda liba sata. Ike ita liba suke ita. Rekete monde liba suta kaata. Reboshia ata kamande liya ata mande di basuta kaliya ande rebosha rekete de babasika ita di basata makata di bayande reboshika makita di bababasata as I hand over. To my father, Apostle Kenneth Chris, Rakuta Ita Mande Liba Sika Italia. We are praying for the nations of mighty God. We pray that the body of Christ must arise, arise, oh, arise for the glory of the Lord has risen upon you, you nations. I say, arise, Rakuta Leboshia Ata. Mande liya ata kariya, roko tole bobo shika manda, rekete li baba sukete, ika li basuta ita mande, rekete li basuta, akuta li basata. I'm handing over to my father, Apostle Kenneth C.J. Chris, rekete li ba ita kamande, li baba basukete, ita kamande li baba suta, rekete le boshia ata.
Lebra de la susta sura ata, lebra de bra duce sute sura libre ente, lebra de bra duce sute sura ante, rica tata sura, rica tata lira, rica deche zebra duce sura ente, e lebra de bra duce sura ente, e libra de bra duce sura ata, e lebra de bra duce sura libre ente, we lift many, mighty God, we lift them up from all circumstances, from all troubles, shatisa sura libre ente, rita satura, libra ka ata, li shatisa kura ente, may many be Lifted up, mighty God, shut a lure hebra hunter, Leticia zebra duce sure hit, Rakata susta, Rakata lira, Rakadesha zebra duce sure libra ente, Lebra debra duce sura hunter, Rebra debra duce sura ente, Rita catasura, Rica tatalira, Rikadesha zebra duce sura ente, Elibra duce, Elibra hand, Elebra debra duce sura libra ente, Rakadusha sura hunter, Rakadebra duce ente, Rakadebra debra duce sura ente, when they are straight mighty. I'm the Lord. Come on, all those who are in need, Lord God Almighty. May the message of the Father flow over all the earth, all nations, all cities. Shatalisha sita sura hante. La kishe zibra, la debre ente. Le debre duche sura libra kushe kire ente. Le shetista zibra dushka hante. Le she debre duche sura libre ente. Le she debre duche sura libre ente. Rakatata sura libra hante. Rakatata zibra duche ente. We continue to stand on the gap and pray for leaders. We pray for presidents. We pray for head of state. We pray for those leaders that have been entrusted with a position of authority. We pray for the joy of the Lord on your heart, O Lord. We repel every stony heart, every rebellious spirit that has come into the heart of men, bringing contamination, O Lord. We pray against it. Every seed of corruption that has departed in the heart of leaders, we uproot by the incorruptible word from the from above. Catalina, Rica Debra Dusha Sura Libra, Lebre Desha Sita Sura Libre Ente, Elisha Sita Sura, Elibra Dushka Ante, Elebre Desha Sutta Sura Libre Ente, Rekedusha Sura. We pray for the communities, O Lord. May the blood of Christ speak a better message in our community, in our nation, in our city, Lord God Almighty. Pasha Sibra Kura Ente, Rakusha Sura, La Desha Ente, Lesha Debra Dusha Sura Libre Ente. We pray for those that are sick on their body, O Lord. We pray for those that are facing all kinds of Infirmity, all kind of sickness of destruction. Shatibra hante, Rakisha sita, like Debra duche sura hante sira hante. We come from the throne of the mercy, Shakalebra hante, and we open the throne of mercy upon their health, upon their body, bringing restoration upon their life. Shatatatata sura hante, Shatetete zebra hante, Shatetete zebra duche sira hante. We nullify every evil weapon used against their body. Shatista sura hante, every evil weapon of destruction used against their well-being, used against their family, used against their marriage, used against their children. We come against it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Shetista Sitra Kura Hante, Rekelusta Sura, Lekedibra Hante. We pray for those that are under the subjection of addiction, oh Lord. Every form of addiction that has caused them, make them to become an addict of circumstance. We pray them out, Shatta. We break that yoke of substance. We break that yoke of addiction over their body. Shetista Kura Hante, Sibra Hante. Every hold of addiction over their lives, we broke it by the blood of Christ, Shatta. Elusta Sita Sura Hante, Rika Tata Sura Libre Hante. We pray for all the learners as they are going back to 
to possess their possession. We pray for them, Lord God Almighty, that protection of the Father be over their lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. No weapon of failure, no weapon of disappointment form against their life that will prevail over their well-being. Shatasure, rikadushe sute libre ente, lebre deshe sita sura hante, lebre debra dushe sura ente, rikata tasura, rikata talire, rikadeshe zibra dushe sura ente, lebre deshe sita sura hante, eleke deshe zita sura hante, lebre deshe zita sura, rikata tasura, rikata talire, rikadeshe zibra dushe sura ente, elebre dushka lira, elibra dushka ante, eleke deshe zete sushte sura libre ente, rikata tasura, rikata talire, rikata tasura deshe sita sura libre ente, lebre debre dushe sura lisha ante, lebre debre dushe sura libre ente. We call to pray for unity. We call to pray for love in the body of Christ, O Lord. We pray for one and shut asura ente in the body of Christ. Let the love of God reign. Ya shatu sapura. Let the love of God take dominion in the body of Christ. Eshe tista sira hanta. Eshe tibra hanta. Eshe debre dushe sura ente. Rita katusa. Let there be spirit of let there be spirit of confidence. Ya tasura ente. Let there be spirit of endurance, O Lord. Shata isha tisha kita sura ente sura. Rika tata sura. Rika tata lira. Rekadeshe zebra dushe sura ente. Lebra disha zita sura ante. Rekadeshe zita sura ente. We cover all the nations, O Lord. All the nations we cover, mighty God. We cover all the world, O Lord. For the earth belongs to you and the fullness thereof. We pray for all the earth, mighty God. We pray against God that has ravaged many cities. Lord God Almighty, we pray for mercy. Mercy upon these nations. Mercy upon this city, O Lord. We pray for them, Lord. We pray for them, O Lord. Those that have lost their loved ones, we pray for their hearts to be comforted, O Lord. We pray for them. We pray for their hearts to be comforted. We also pray for those who are making their way back to their respective homes, oh Lord, to their respective cities, to their respective countries. We pray for them, oh Lord, as they embark on a journey, oh Lord. Those who will be using the transport, all means of transportation, be on the air, on the sea, be on the road. We pray, Lord God Almighty, that the Spirit of the Father take over, take over, take over. Shati Sakura Hebra Hanta, Rakish Sita Sure Libre, we take charge of the foul spirit of the air. Shati Sure Libre. We nullify every principality on the sea. We come against the rulers. Rulers that set the step on the road, bringing and causing all kind of havoc and accidents. Bringing destruction to mankind. The commanding appearance of the Father right now. We set it above on the road. On the north, on the south, in the east, and in the west. We cover all the geometry, we cover all the corners of the earth by the, by the prevailing blood of our master Jesus Christ. We give you all the glory of our Father. We thank you, Lord God Almighty. As I hand back to Apostle Jasri, thank you. Rika tata sura, rika tata zira, rika deshe sita sura libre eti, libra duche sura. Rakete de bosia ataka mande de boshakata, mande de boshakete de bobo shika de ba. Sata kamande liya ata, makuta liya ata kamande. Rakete de bos. Thank you, thank you, thank you, viewers at home. I want you to continue to pray. Never stop praying. Don't be tired of prayer. Listen, Jesus Christ said. Uh, Father, forgive them for they know not what they are doing because uh, 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 they persecuted our master. They persecuted our head. But he, he understood that this one, although I gave them myself, but they could not perceive me because they lack knowledge. I want us to continue praying. Even in our closet, we pray for those who persecute us. In your ministry, maybe your members are persecuting you. Maybe your members are seeing your witnesses and they stand against you. you according to your weaknesses. Maybe they see your past mistake and they took it to themselves. Listen, don't bewitch them. Don't say, Lord, deal with them or kill them. No, don't bewitch them. Say, Lord, forgive them. Forgive them, amen. Forgive them, Father. 
for they do not know what they are doing. Hmm? Forgive them. He understood mercy. He understood, David understood the mercy of God. He understood that they are talking, grumbling, because they saw David as a murderer. They saw David as an adulterous man. And they took those kids, those wrong kids. They ran with them, talking. He cannot be our leader. Such men of God who kill people for his own gain. But David said, have mercy on me. He went to the heads and bowed down to the heads. Hey, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Do not forget that you are the body who has the heads. <laughs> Bow down to your head and say, forgive me. Forgive me according to your love, according to your mercy. Because I know mercy is bound in you. Hmm? We pray for this intercession prayer. I pray that God will locate you. Jesus Christ will abide with you as you abide with him. I pray that even those that are sick in hospital right now, they are healed just by uh, uh, tuning into this platform. This is a fertile platform. We are going to get the words. When a man of God is dishing the words, I want you to remember John 17. When Jesus said, these, I'm praying for these, because I gave them the words and they have accepted. It's about accepting the word. I want when the man of God led by the Spirit. Hmm? is unleashing the word, putting it on the table, accept it, and you will never regret it. Accept it. Accept it. And we pray also for the men of God. You pray for us. As we pray for you, pray for us too. Pray that you will stand and will not compromise the word of God. We will not compromise him. As I hand over to the Father, I say be blessed and tune in for the word of God. In the mighty name of Jesus, let's clap hands for Apostle Kenneth T.J. Chris. Let's clap hands. Let's clap hands. Yes, let's clap hands. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to our Savior. Glory to our Master. We give God all the glory. All glory belongs to God. Uh, let us clap for our Master, Jesus Christ, uh, who is the reason of our existence and who is the reason why we continue to say Ebenezer to the King of Glory. Let's clap for our Master, Jesus Christ. Let's appreciate his love. It's mercy that endures forevermore. Wherever you are, whichever city, whichever country, wherever you are watching, streaming us from live right now, even if you're not watching live, as you're going to watch on the later stage, uh, we are saying, let us appreciate Jesus Christ for our life. He laid down his, his life. He laid down his body. He bear the shame, the humiliation for our sake. So that we may be saved and united with the King of God, with our glorious God. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, glory to God. Glory to our King. Uh, glory to our Savior. Uh, we want to uh, greet every one of you as you are watching. Uh, we thank God for uh, causing this wonderful fellowship. We remain in one continuous fellowshipping with the King of Glory. Uh, this is the day that the Lord God Almighty has made. And we are here to rejoice and be glad. Messiah, greetings to you. If you're just tuning in right now, we welcome you, the Prince of the Father. Uh, we thank God and we thank you uh, for also praying for us, uh, praying with us. And uh, 
allow yourself to use as a vessel unto honor. Uh, we thank uh, the spirit of our father in the life of Apostle Jazri. Uh, thank you so much, great uh, general, uh, great son of the father. Thank you so much for uh, that wonderful, uh, wonderful uh, uh, intercession and the message that you, uh, uh, the spirit of the Lord has uh, spoken to us uh, through your mouth. We bless God for your life and we pray uh, that uh, uh, you be blessed all the more. And by the grace of the Lord, continue to reveal more mystery into your life. Uh, we give God the glory for that beautiful message. Thank you so much. Let's let's, let's clap on the shoulder. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Uh, blessed viewers, we've been ushered into the uh, message already. As we uh, as you have seen from from the table of our Lord right now, uh, it is uh, uh, the body and the, uh, the blood of our Master Jesus Christ, the Holy Communion, and uh, it is a command that uh, uh, Jesus gave. This is an order, an order from our Master Jesus Christ for we all to partook from. And uh, Apostle Paul spoke of it in 1 Corinthians 11, that the more I partook from it, the more my life gets renewed, gets renewed, gets renewed, because this is new. And, uh, and, and one that maintains the order, remember, is an order, not an order of priests, but order of priests of priests. Remember, um, it is the order of Melchizedek, uh, the king with that genealogy. So one who partook in that command will remain. Because this is a command that brings internal life. This is, a, this is the will of the Father. This is God's will. It is called God's will, the will of God. Because God says in the beginning concerning uh, uh, our life, says, whosoever believe, whosoever believe. So believe what? Believe in what the Son is saying. Believe in what the Son is giving. Believe in what the Son is teaching. When the disciple of our Father Jesus Christ, when they were about to go out of line, they, they almost went out of line. God quickly, God quickly came and, and quickly enveloped them. Meaning he took them out from where the road they were leading. Now Jesus is the way, the only road. There are no two roads to God. There's only one road. There's only one way, and that way is our master, Jesus Christ. So he says, I am the way to the Father. The way to the Father. So the message of intercession has ushered us in to where the King of Glory is leading us to. And as we have been, uh, 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 been uh, alerted, that our minds should be open. And we continue to pray for the Spirit of God that, lead, that is leading us to give us understanding all the more and open the minds of who and those who are watching, listening, for their minds to uh, receive this divine message so that they will be saved all the more. We thank God as we are about to go into the message. I quickly also want to acknowledge everyone on Facebook Greek to, to greet you all the more. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for all, all your participation. Uh, always interceding and praying with us and praying for us. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. Uh, thank you for sharing. And thank you also for calling for prayers. We thank you so much uh, for trusting Christ in our life. As you as you trust in Christ for us to pray for your matter, we trust in God. It's a God that can never fail. It's a God that never lies. It's a God that never sleeps nor slumber. And we believe that whatsoever that has been tender, many whatsoever that has been presented before the King of Glory, it is done. It is well. And we believe that God has answered every matter that consigned your life. I like to greet and honor. Uh, my king, my father, uh, whom God has used greatly in my life, uh, teaching me about the ways, you know, uh, a shepherd comes from the heart of God. Uh, they are not just men. They are not men. See, men can, uh, can, can claim to be, men can claim a position. Men can ask, uh, uh, I claim to a position. Men can even stood to a position. But position that comes from God bears and carries the fruit of the spirit, because God is spirit. A position of authority cannot represent uh, uh, authority from above. If that position was not ordained by uh, by the principle of God, if that position was not being uh, uh, being, uh, uh, being lifted up by God Himself, there's no way that pos that uh, position can reveal the mystery of God. God is mystery. God is spirit, and those who worship God do so in spirit and truth. I like to greet and honor uh, my father, uh, my shepherd from above, our father. Uh, through him, we are able to, uh, this ministry, uh, I was spared uh, uh, through the grace of God upon his life. 
Paul uh, and we thank you so much, our Father. Thank you so much uh, for giving us uh, this platform. Thank you so much uh, for making it possible for us to serve God with you, together with you. Uh, thank you so thank you so much for never giving up on, on, on us and continue to reveal God all the more upon our life. Uh, we thank God for that beautiful life of yours. And may God Almighty continue to uh, establish uh, 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 his will, uh, his mystery upon your life that you may eat all the more uh, uh, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So we give God the glory. Hallelujah. Let's, let's, let's appreciate. Let's appreciate. Let's appreciate. Let's appreciate. Amen. Now let's open to the book of John. Let's have yours. As we know, today is for the communion and we are saying, if you are at home, if you are in your office, if you are anywhere in the car, uh, if you are at a place of uh, uh, where you conduct your uh, your living in a place of work, business, whatever, or even if you are in a church and you are watching us and you want to part partake with this, uh, you want to partake with us, uh, just get whatever, get whatever, anything, be it water, uh, drinks, juice. Whatever, 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 get it. Anything you, anything we declare. Listen, um, it's the word of the the, of the word of God that proceeded out of our mouths that bring life upon this. This came from store, from supermarket, from groceries, uh, places. But the word that is in us, in the spirit of the living word, Hebrews four, from verse uh, twelve. The spirit of the living world that dwells within us is what infects this to become what we call it to be, which is the reality. Remember, Colossians 1 speaks that Christ in you is the hope of glory. So we bring life because it's the life, the living world, which we receive, which is God's will, which is the will of God. The will of God, so ever believe in the Son, we not perish, but have everlasting life. So God wants you to experience everlasting life. God wants you to enjoy eternal life. God wants you to enjoy the life that does not perish. And that life can, can only come through the Son. Through the Son. That's why I say whoever believes in me will not perish, but have everlasting life. Now, let's open to the book of John 6. John 6 will, will start from verse 40. John 6, verse 40, he says here, For this is my Father's will and his purpose, that everyone who sees the Son, everyone, now when he says everyone, everyone is included. What is needed for one year is your belief. Your belief. So uh, what is the capacity of your faith? Faith comes by hearing and belief. So one year, but one do not believe. So you hear that this came from the shop and it has been declared that it's no longer what it was and it's now. But did you believe this word for, for that very thing? Did you believe that the word that has been said, declared, and it has now become the reality of what you have on the table? He says that everyone who sees the Son and believes in and cleaves to and trusts in and relies on him and relies on him, should have eternal life. Eternal life is to know God. Because you rely on the Son, you know the source of life. You know the Father. You Because you rely on the Son, you are in with the Father. That's why the Son says, whoever have seen me, I've seen the Father. Because you trust in the Son, your trust in the Father will never fail. Now, he says, and I will raise him up from the dead at the last day, even though you believe in the Father, and you and you and your trust in the Son on, on, on the Son was never shaken by any circumstance. And even if trouble come and take you, you are not gone forever. He said you will be raised on the last day. Now, now the Jewish the Jewish murmured and found fault with and grumbled about Jesus because he said, "I am my I." I am myself the bread that came down from heaven. The bread that came down from heaven. Remember, it was not a uh, uh, a first time that the bread was given. But when one does not acknowledge, 
Meaning, if one does not believe, if one does not trust him, if one does not rely, he becomes a man, he becomes what is this to that person. And such a person is taking it in the wrong manner. You know, I, 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 um, before the beginning of the service, I recall that today is the first Sunday, and as 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 our very first every first Sunday, uh, is uh, the communion service, and our, I, my mind just went back to uh, uh, in the in the in the in the holding time of, of my life because we uh, I, I was uh, I born into a Catholic thing and we eat communion every day we go to uh, masses. It is called mass. Service used to be called mass. It's communion every time, every time. But we don't, but I don't know. Just because we are meant to eat, and it was called body of Christ. It was given body of Christ, body of Christ, and you drink the little uh, wine, body of Christ, the blood of Christ. You know, and it's 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 manner because the rates of the rate of 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 death and and and, and destruction that that ravage because every week is. Funeral every week, we keeping, you know. Now it, it it dawned on me this morning that the reality is that people part, partook, ate what they did not know of, what they did not know of, and that's the reason why today many are not in right standing with God. That's the reason why today many are not in the plan of God for their lives. Because if there is no knowledge, because knowledge opens one up to know where you stand with God. Knowledge brings you into the reality of your existence in this life. In this secular world, they call knowledge is power. Because before you become a doctor, you have to go and get knowledge. Before you become a lawyer, you have to go and seek your knowledge. Before you become any sort of thing in this life, you have to go and get knowledge. You can just be operational without not getting approval of knowledge from the respective institution that has been constituted to give you such knowledge. But there is a knowledge that can never come from the man's side, nor from man institution, or from man constitution. There's a knowledge that is above men's wisdom. There is the knowledge that men cannot begin to phantom of. And this knowledge, the whole world is doing all they could to attain it. Anywhere you go, they are looking for, <laughs> what's it called? To stay, to live long. To live long. Many, many will go in their, even in their, in their very old age, they go and, and get a blood transfusion because they were told that if you if you put the blood of a new baby in your in your vein in your blood, you, you will your body will grow or will grow will remain. You will not you will not die. All those things are lie. All those things are lie. But there is then but there is a, a, a blood and a, a, a body that if one partake from and one remain trusting, relying, abide, believing. One receive eternal life, just as we pray. And this is the opportunity. This is the grace that God has caused us to receive. This is the grace that God wants us to have. Okay. Let's continue there. It's John chapter 6, uh, verse 42. They kept asking, is this not, is not this now? Their mind now. Their wisdom now. Their knowledge, what the knowledge they know about him now, now comes for gunning who, who he, he, he was in their midst, what he was doing, what he was teaching. All of that has been tossed aside. Now they are looking, is it not the, it's not whom we knew, it's not who we saw. But did they see anything of worldly with him, even when they knew him in the past? Because even in that past, Though he was not, he was not uh, uh, giving the gospel, the good news, but he never shy away from speaking who he was. Because whilst he was teaching at the tender age, 
at the very tender age, while he was teaching, his parents were looking for him. Three days, they could not find him. Three days. They looked for him. They could not find him. They had to return back to the synagogue where they, they saw him last. And he was there teaching. And when one came to call him to say, why are you here? Why are your parents are worried? He said, look, the people I'm speaking to are my parents, my brother, my family. So one who, who would have seen or one who have, could have been able to discern, one who was in that era, who had the fear of God within he or herself, would be able to know that, hey, there is something about this child. As his first reading, when when is the, the certain ritual that was supposed to perform for every Jewish who come into the house must must read, and when he read, every 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 uh, scribes and, and Pharisees and all the priests they were they were stunned they were stunned they were astonished by the level of understanding. That's why he said, "I never came to abolish." the law or the prophet. I have come that they may be fulfilled. So his teaching must be, become a fulfillment in their hearing. So is the only communion is it fulfilled in your hearing when you receive? Or do you still partake from it like you did before time passed? You say, what is this? Because I'm just going to partake because everyone is taken from it. Okay, now let's go on Verse 43. So, so Jesus answered them, Stop grumbling and saying these things against me to one another. No one is able to come to me unless the Father who sent me attracts and draws him and gives him the desire to come to me, and, and then I will raise him up from the dead at the last day. You see that? No, even this can be taught, this can be given. But if one does not believe, or if one does not even trust on God, the revelation, the mystery behind it, will not be made known to such a person. It will not be made known to such a person. Now, what what brought what brought uh, 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 me to my father was my love to God. My love for God, my love for God, was what brought me to the father. Because I never knew my father before. I never met him before. But the love of God and the fear of God caused attraction. Caused attraction for me to believe what he is saying. And that's why through the love, through the grace, one will be lifted up. One will be lifted up. Now, now verse 45 said, it is written in the book of of the prophets, and they shall all be taught of God. They shall all be taught of God, have him in person for their teacher. Everyone who has listened to and learned from the Father comes to me. Everyone who have listened and learned from the Father comes to me. Now, which which does not imply that anyone has seen the Father. Mm -mm. It does not imply that anyone has seen the Father. Not that anyone has ever seen him. Except he who was with the father, who comes from God, he alone has the father speaking about himself now. Now verse 47 says, I assured you most so many I tell you, he who believes in me, who adheres to, trusts in, relies on, and has faith in me, has now possessed eternal life. John 3, verse 16. This is John chapter 3, verse 16. See, for God so loved you, you are in the world that God loves. Psalms, the same said, the earth is of the Lord and the fullness thereof. So you are in the world that God loves. For God so loved the world that he gave up his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in the son will not perish. Perish means die. Will not die. But you have internal life because now you know God. God is life. Now, verse 48 says, I am the bread of life that gives life, the living bread. Now, get this word. Get this word. Jesus presents himself that I am the bread of life. 
the living, the living, is it the living bread, the living bread, the living bread. Now Jesus came, saying that I. Now to the to those who were watching him, those who were with him, and that's when the seventy-two got upset and they walked out from his presence. Now what in what made them to walk out from his presence? They look at him. You are giving us your flesh. They could not discern what it meant. What it meant when they say, "I am the bread of life." I am the bread of life. So, what, what, what was he saying when he said, "I am the bread of life," meaning I am the way to the Father. Now, so if if he's the bread of life, he is the body, and if he's the body, what does we represent? What does we that believe in him? What what are we to him? We becomes his body. Remember, we were we were raised up with him. Romans six verse six. We were raised up with him. We were persecuted with him. We, we were buried with him. Ephesians two verse six. Together we. So now the body. That's why Ephesians five said we are wives to to the group. So the marriage of the bride and the lamb, the lamb whose body takes away our sin. Now what 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 does that body carry? Let's see what does that body carry. What us what what that body went through for our sake. What did that body went through for our sake? We're gonna pause here quickly and rush to uh, uh, Isaiah fifty three. Isaiah fifty three. I believe we know this. Okay, Isaiah fifty three. I'm just going to I'm just going to read from verse uh, uh, five quickly because uh, we've we've touched we've touched this uh, one to one to four. Now, verse 5, Isaiah 53, verse 5. It says here, But he was wounded for our transgression. Our transgression, meaning our own sins, our own iniquities. He was bruised for our guilt. For our guilt, he was bruised. And iniquities. He was bruised for our guilt and iniquities. The chastisement, meaning the punishment, the chastisement, when the beating, the battered, you know, he was battered, he was beaten. Say so that that beating needful to obtain. It was it is a must. It's a must. It's a must. Is it in order to get peace in this in, in, in the life that you have received from Christ? You must also go through challenges. How would you how would the peace of God, the joy of the Lord? How would you know it's your strength if there are no challenges to test? If there are no situations to test? That's why the life of God that we have received is not a life that we receive for, we, for us to run out of trouble. We do not. We do not escape trouble. No, no, no. Even, even trouble, trouble will not even want to come near us because the trouble will be so deep. Mm. You know, there are some there are some level of maturity one gets to that even demon now begins to say, I can't touch this one now. I can't touch this one. Do you not know what it means when the enemy said to God that that one I can't touch that one now. That one, that one is surrounded. He got a hammer of God around him. The enemy talks about Job in that way. The Job was in the old. How much more you? You that the living world is in you. Get this knowledge to understand what this body represented and did for us. Is also we also will go through it. We will go through it. Listen. It says, it says here, the chastisement needful to obtain peace and well-being for us. Remember, the same Isaiah. Oh, let's see. okay. Let's see uh, Jeremiah, uh, Jeremiah twenty nine verse eleven. Remember, the 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 plan of God for for us was not only to prosper us, but a a state of well being, a state of well being. So how does one attain such? How does one reach such? How does one reach such? Now, Amen. Say I love you, Jesus. I love you, Master. I love you, Master. Can 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 somebody just uh read for me? 
read for me there. Uh, uh, Isaiah 53, verse 5. Amen. Amen. We read from the book of Isaiah 55, 53, from verse 5. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was cruised for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him. And by his wounds we are healed. We all like sheep have gone astray. Each of us has turned to our own way. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. Did you hear that? Yes. Amen. Did you hear that? He said, we all have gone astray. Everyone has what gone astray. Everyone has gone astray. Meaning everyone has gone out of out of the will. Everyone has gone out of the purpose. Everyone. But now, how does one return to him? Remaining in Christ's sacrifice. Remaining upon what the body does for us. Because to share in his glory is to share in his suffering. Because this body this body that we are going to partake from carries everything that causes complaint and worry in the life of a person. Jesus was whipped 39 times. 39 times. 39 times he was flogged, he was beaten. Do you know there are all the all the sicknesses, all the diseases, all the complaints, everything, when you sum all, when you sum it all together, you get 39. So it was taking everything, even the corona and all what, what have you that is happening is also among the 39. It's also among 89. So no infirmity, no sickness, no disease as old over your life. When you have that knowledge. And Jesus has conquered for you. That Jesus has what conquered for you. So you remain, you remain in Him, knowing fully well that you cannot be touched. The body was whipped in order for us to obtain peace. In order for us to be a joy. That's why Hebrews 4 says, for we cannot say we do not have a chief high priest who all the time intercedes. So when trouble comes, how do you approach this trouble? Hmm? How do you approach this trouble when trouble comes? You partake in the body of Christ, but it has any meaningless purpose. It does not bring any meaningful impact in your life. But you partook from it. Just like I said, I've been eating this for more than four decades, the body of Christ. But it it it, 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 it did no, no impartation or nothing. Because I eat without the knowledge. But was the knowledge taught or the knowledge he was given? No. We just we just gave and we just ate. I'm not talking ill of anyone or any other position of any place, no. I'm just uh, saying what I personally went through. So this is just my story, my personal uh, story, not me coming against the institution or anyone. Okay. Amen. Amen. Okay, now, get this. What was needful in order for us to obtain in peace in our life. Because without peace, how can one survive trouble? Without peace, how can one withstand when storms, when flood? 
Do not know Jesus Christ was at peace when they both capsized. When the trouble came, but those who are around him, those who are within him, they were they, they were at a, a, a state of restless, but he was at peace. He was so at peace that he was even sleeping, not minding, not even giving ear, not even consigning himself with what they are crying for. They saw themselves going down that they had to, from <laughs> under the sea, pulling him, pulling him under the sea. Can't you do something? We are dying here. Because he did not understand. Because he did not know. Understand what this, uh, are the significant of the body of Christ means to our life. He was whipped. He was battered. He was wounded. His body. That body became now our body because we are joined with him. We are married to him. He is our husband. He is our groom. The marriage of bride. We, the church. The church is the bride. The church is the bride. Married to the lamb. Who, whose lamb? The lamb of God. Not the lamb of men. The lamb of God. So we carry, we carry what he carried. That's why James wrote, James wrote, consider it pure joy when you go through. Consider it pure joy. So he was joyful, but the disciples, they were, he was at peace, but they were, he said, consider it pure joy. Consider it pure joy. You know, we, we so want to uh, uh, go through the, the soft life, the easy life. But before you get to that soft life, you, you have to go through the hard life. See, it's a time that is being used what what. But the life of Christ is not a difficult life if you have an understanding. If you have a knowledge, it's not a difficult life. But Jesus said, what I'm giving to you is not too difficult. It's not difficult. I Meaning, it's not too difficult. What I'm saying to you, what I'm giving to you, because the word of God is in your mouth, is in your heart, is on your mind, is on your lips. Now, speak it. Because God is watching to see that he performs his word. Because God is waiting to see that his word is performed. So the church becomes the body. The church that becomes the body now also we go through. We go through. Because this is how we serve God. This is how we serve God. This is how we take the gospel. This is how we take the gospel. Do you not know? Now, now, now listen. Look for 18. He says, he has delivered me. He has delivered me. Can you can you go to look for? Look for verse 18. You you just listen to this message. Look for verse 18. Luke chapter 4. Oh, verse 18. Yes. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. The spirit of the Lord. The Amen. spirit of the Lord. Not the spirit of fear. Not the spirit of timid. Not the spirit of doubt. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. Yes, you can go on here. Amen. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because he has anointed me. The anointed one, the Messiah, to preach the good news to the poor. Mm -hmm. He has sent me to announce release to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to send forth as delivered those who are oppressed, 
who are downtrodden, bruised, crushed, and broken down by calamity. Did, 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 did you get that message now? Did you get that insight? Did you get that insight? He was coming from a place, a place as he was known to be the son of Joseph, the son of Mary. Now, he was coming now to come into the reason why he was born to us, born for us, given to us in, on this earth. He was coming to that time, meaning the fifth day, the set appointed time. And the first thing the Spirit of the Lord came upon him now, the Spirit of the Lord came upon him now, and deliverance came upon him. And the Spirit of the Lord now took him. He went through. He went through. I'm not talking about what was many of the things that were not recorded in the Bible for us to read. He so was led by the Spirit of God. Entered into 40 days, 40 nights. There was nothing like food. There was no water. But he was in the wilderness. And guess who came knocking? Who came to, to, to bring reliefs? Relief that is of what? Men. Relief that is coming from the pit of wickedness. Relief that comes with deceit, with deception. Relief that comes with lies, with manipulation. With relief that comes with debauchery. That's what the enemy offers. In the time of trouble that you are facing as a Christian, learn to discern whom you seek help from. So that you don't get help from one whom God has not appointed to aid you. You find yourself causing more hindrance upon yourself because you seek help from where God has not appointed you. The enemy came with this, with deceit, with deception, with deceit, with deception, bringing all kind of deception and coming, coming, coming like the way the enemy works, coming, coming. But listen, the master dealt with the enemy and the world. Revelation 12 recorded it. John Patmos, he wrote it and he recorded it. Say, so, how did how did we overcome? Hey, the word of our testimony. And by the blood of the Lamb, we overcame the, 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 the scheme, the deceit. We overcame deception. We overcame the work of the enemy. And the living word of our testimony. Because each trouble, each trouble that comes, just if, if, if there's a belief in your mind and there's an, acceptance, there's an acceptance of faith to say, this is not my portion. You've already, you've already, you've already moved. You've already moved ahead. Because Everything that we are going through today has already been finished by our Master Jesus Christ. So the body itself lacked this knowledge. The body, the body, the body of, of Christ, the church lacks this, this truth. Lacks this truth. The body lacks this truth. The body lacks this revelation. How is it that you, you partake in the body and still sickness has dominion over your life? How did sickness came into your life? Sin. How did sin came into your life? You disobey. You disobey who's other? The other of the kids are The king with that genealogy. You disobey the other. He said, I am the bread of life. That's what he said. John 6 said, I am the bread of life. John 10 verse 10. He said, I have come that they may have life. Have it in abundance. I am the way. John 14. I am the way to the Father. The only way to the Father. There are no other ways. There are no gimmick. There are no manipulation. There are no other ways. I am the way to the Father. I have come that you may have life. Now, if you eat, if you partake, if you believe, now that life comes. He said, it's not too difficult. No, 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 okay. Go back to John 6 there, quickly. He 
Start from verse 48. John 6, start from verse 48. Amen. We read from the book of John, chapter 6, verse 48. Amen. I am the bread of life that gives life the living bread. Your forefathers ate the manna in the wilderness, and yet they died. But this is the bread that comes down from heaven, so that anyone may eat of it and never die. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Just hold on, hold on for a moment there. Did you hear that, blessed viewers? Blessed sin. Did you hear that? He said, your forefathers ate the manna in the wilderness. Now, who, who also went to the wilderness? Who also went to the wilderness? Okay, Jesus Christ went to the wilderness. And who came to bring manna with deception? Say, if you are truly the son of God, hey, turn this stone to bread because you are hungry. So eat this bread. The stone represents the law. The law was given on a tablet of stone. Where there was death, where there was hatred, where there were law that brings condemnation, where there are law to lead to sin, where there are laws that lead to lies. That's what the tablet, the stone represents. So the enemy came with deception, presenting itself. You see, he came in, 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 he saw that there was hunger in the body of our master. He saw. So he came in that way. So be careful who is coming near your life. Be careful who is coming near to your temple. Be careful who is coming near to your tent. Because temptation will not cease from happening. 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 You'll be tempted in all way because Jesus Christ, our chief, chief high priest, he was tempted in all ways, yet he was without sin. So who are we not to be tempted in many ways? Hmm. So it is for you to remain in him by meditating in him daily. So whatever that comes to test you, <laughs> First Corinthians 10, 13, no temptation of sin. God is faithful. God will not allow you to go through beyond what your body cannot bear. Ah, you are okay. You are all right. You are okay. Now, they, in, in the same wilderness that our master went, they couldn't discern why the master was there with them. They began to say, Moses, ah, ah, we are full now. So their true nature began not to come out. That's why at the Last Supper, on that table, he called it Last Supper because it is the blood that will reveal the true intent of repression. It's the blood that prevails. So if your intent is not of godly, it will expose. It exposes. Immediately, Judas partook from it. It exposes. It, 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 his action was just on his face. It was not only on his countenance, but it was written all over, all over his face. But he was unable to act it. But already, he has, he has conceived it. So his spirit has already conceived it. His soul has accepted it. But now his body, his flesh, was just wicked now. Strength was given to his flesh now. Go and do what you started. Go and, go and do what you have started. Sir, I love you, Jesus. Sir, I love you, Master. Sir, I love you, Jesus. Okay, start from verse... Start from verse 50. Amen. John chapter 6, verse 15. But this is the bread that comes down from heaven, so that anyone may eat of it and never die. I myself am this living bread that came down from heaven. If anyone eats of this bread, he will live forever. And also the bread that I shall give for the life of the world is my flesh. The, the bread that I will give for the life of those who are in this world, the world that the Father 
our glorious God loves that he gave his only begotten son. That life comes from the son. It's a living word. It's a living word. That's why we say uh, we, we don't go now to, to, to go look for uh, uh, someone's flesh or someone's body or even put our body, put our flesh and say, this is our body. This is the body of Christ. No. It can be anything. It can be anything. Where it becomes the thing, where it becomes the main thing is now the word. The words spoken, declare over it, it becomes the living thing. It becomes the living. It becomes what the living thing. Second Corinthians chapter five, verse one it says, "Our body is a living temple, a temple that is offered." For the sacrifice, a living sacrifice. And if you are to offer as we have offered, now we know what the body went through. It went through that night, lashes, beating, bruise, battered. Now we would not be afraid of what we have offered our living body to. Twenty twenty came with all kind of things, and many, many got very scared. Many got very scared. It was a time of testing, testing your faith, testing your belief. The wave came, and the wave passes, and we saw how many. And many gave in, and many yield to the worldly uh, things. Many, many gave in to worldly things. Many compromised their faith. Many compromised their belief. Many lost their right standing with the Father. <clears throat> many walk with the way that is not of godly. Because the things that is happening comes without explanation, no understanding. But if you have received knowledge because you are found in it, you will be at peace when those trouble arise. You will be at peace when those trouble comes from all directions. You will be at peace. You will not be shaken because your kingdom is here. Hebrews 1, say, your kingdom is eternal, it's everlasting. You, son, no trouble will shake your, your, your kingdom because you are founded in the Father. You are what? Founded in the Father. Now, can you repeat verse 51? Amen. John chapter 6, verse 51. I myself am this living bread that came down from heaven. If anyone eats of this bread, he will live forever. And also the bread that I shall give for the life of the world is my flesh. Take, take note of that word. If anyone, take note of that word. That's why when it comes to us, we don't put restriction. We don't put age. We don't limit, any, we don't limit anyone. We don't say, no, you, you are too young. No, you, you are too old. No, you are too middle class. You, you are youth. You are a children. You are a boy. You are a girl. We do not he say if anyone, if anyone, if anyone, this is if anyone, if anyone eats of this bread, he said he will live forever. So to all those who are spending a oh, crazy amount of extraordinary amount of money to seek longevity. They are afraid. They are afraid. They say they live the, the healthiest lifestyle, but they are afraid. 
They are afraid. They are afraid to close their eyes because maybe the eyes will never open again. They are afraid. They are very, very afraid. They are very, very afraid. In one lack of knowledge, one acts and behave against the will of the master. And that's why it's easy for such one to perish. Because the basic thing of life, the life that God wants, the life that God wants us to have, life in abundance, one lacks. Okay. Uh, uh, can you then go on? Amen. John chapter 6, verse 52. Then the Jews angrily contended with one another, saying, How is he able to give us his flesh to eat? And Jesus said to them, I assure you, most solemnly I tell you, you cannot have any life in you unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood. Unless you appropriate his life, and the saving merit of his blood. No, uh, so how can one appropriate his life? How can one live that life? How can one live the life? Open first, first Peter. Open first Peter chapter four. First Peter chapter four. How can one appropriate that light? Mm -hmm. verse. How can one appropriate that light? Open first Peter chapter 4. Yes, sir. I want verse, I want verse 13, but you can start from verse 11 then. Amen. We read from the book of First Peter chapter 4, verse 11. Whoever speaks, let him do it as one who utters oracles of God. Whoever renders service, let him do it as with the strength which God furnishes abundantly, so that in all things God may be glorified through Jesus Christ the Messiah. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever, through endless ages. Amen. So, so now, listen, the, the, just hold on a second. Hold on for a minute there. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, hold on. He says, whoever speaks, let him do as one who alters. Now, as the body of Christ, there's an example that we are to follow. The body of Christ gives lives the body of Christ saves. The body of Christ acts according to the earth. Now, if the members of the body of Christ now act in a wrong manner, the name of the Lord, the name of God, will not be glorified. Adam disobeyed. He went as far as saying, God, it's the person you gave me that caused me to disobey. See, it, it was not even about what he did now. But say, for what you have done, meaning you are you are saying the companion whom God gave you, that God made a mistake. Because he was unable to carry out that instruction that he was giving. He was he was he, he was instructed, he was told. Meaning he disobeyed. He disobeyed. He disobeyed God's. He, did, he disobeyed God's. Uh, 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 God's instruction. And he found himself saying to the Father, "It is whom you gave me," meaning heaping curse upon himself. Heaping curse upon himself. Heaping curse upon himself.
Haleluya. Glory to God. Can you repeat again? Amen. First Peter chapter 4, verse 11. Whoever speaks, let him do it as one who utters oracles of God. Whoever renders service, let him do it as with the strength which God furnishes abundantly, so that in all things God may be glorified through Jesus Christ the Messiah. To him be the glory and dominion forever and ever, through endless ages. Amen. Through be endless loved. ages. Amen. Verse 12, beloved, do not be amazed and bewildered at the fiery ordeal which is taking place to test your quality, as though something strange, unusual, and alien to you and your position were befalling you. But is it, in is so it like now? He said, beloved, beloved. Do not be amazed and be worried at the fairy ordeal which is taking place. Do not be amazed. An ordeal just took place now, 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 now that we are here. An ordeal just took place now. Someone infiltrated in our online service now and trying to do funny, funny things. We pray for the mercy of God over the life of that person. You could see the person is in suffering. You could see the person needs mercy. You could see the person needs to be saved. At that old age, no life. We pray for the mercy of God upon you. We pray for deliverance upon your life. We pray for God's mercy to locate you, whichever country, wherever you are. The world that will speak over your life right now, locate you and set you free. May the mercy of the Father be with you. So we are saying, blessed viewers, he says, do, beloved, he called, we, we are called beloved, he's beloved. Do not be amazed. The meaning, do not be surprised. Do not be bewildered. Trouble will come. This year, trouble will come. But trust, trust upon Christ's sacrifice. This is the atonement of our sin. This right here, this right here is the atonement of our sin. This is the atonement of our sin. This right here took away the capital punishment that we deserve. We write as a three. This is it. The capital punishment that we deserve. This, this, this is it. He took it. By his stripe, we are healed. He took it. So do not be amazed by what you go through. Do not be amazed by what happened. Do, do, do not be surprised by how uh, all kind of dangers, all kind of threats comes to your life from all ways of life. See, do not be amazed. So you 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 be at ease with yourself because the father that watches over your life he never sleeps he never slumber he said beloved do not be amazed and be aware that at the very ordeal which is taking place to test your quality as though something strange unusual and alien to you and your position were befalling you your position will be further again when you are when your trust is never shaken if your trust has never been shaken, your position remains because your foundation can never be moved. Matthew 7, when you take it from verse 21, so when flood comes, flood will shake one whose foundation is not rooted on the rock. Flood will shake you. Flood will take you out. Hmm? Hmm? Go on there. Amen. First hmm. Peter chapter 4, verse 12. Beloved, do not be amazed and bewildered at the fiery ordeal which is taking place to test your quality, as though something strange, unusual, and alien to you and your position were befalling you. But in so far as you are sharing Christ's sufferings, rejoice so that when his glory full of radiance and splendor is revealed. 
you may also rejoice with triumph exultantly. Did you hear that? If you are so amen. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Let's be honest. See, but in so far as you are sharing Christ's suffering, not men's suffering, there are different, there is a difference between Christ's sufferings and men's suffering. There are self-projected sufferings. There are manipulated sufferings. There are suffering that comes from men's from men's anger, uh, 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 men's uh, 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 insecurity, uh, men's failure. There are there are things that comes from self-made. Because if you do not believe the word of God for your life, just know that the opposition has dominion over you. Just know that opposition has reigns, reigns over your life because you do not believe in the power of the body, in the power of the blood, because you did not seek to receive eternal life from the one who came to give life, life of abundance. So sharing in the suffering is by making sure that you abide in his word, meditating on his word, carrying others, going through all, all that he went through, sharing his message, Reading the word, commune the word, speak the word in your life. Speak the word that he says, it is well with your life, it is well with your soul. Speak the word, he says, the word that says to us, let the weak say I am strong. Let the poor say I am rich. So now what you are doing, you are remaining on the foundation of truth, on the foundation of life. You are speaking that word that brings life of abundance upon your life. Not withstanding, not running, not withholding, not following men's suffering, but following in that footstep of Christ's suffering. Because you are going through all kinds of things in life, but you believe that it's not your portion. You believe that God has God have, have done something better than what you are seeing. You know, we do not work by sight. We do not work by what you see. So what you are seeing is not telling or even revealing the, re the reality of your life. Your personality remains in the Father. He says, by his stripes we are healed. The stripes was taken on, our, on, on his body, on our body. So now, when he says, if someone smacked you on this first cheek, they turn to the other cheek and let the person smack. He didn't say you should fight back. He didn't say you should retaliate. No, he said turn the other cheek and what and, and, and let the person smack the other side. That's how merciful we should remain. That's how merciful we should be. That's how merciful we should act. Because we are doing the will of the Father. We are doing the will of the Father. Now, now this is how one can appropriate the life. Through the body, your body represents the body of Christ. So you can take anything because I was supposed to say the first Philippians 4 13. I can do everything. His body was no longer his. He has given up his body. That's why he was not afraid of challenges. That's why he was not afraid of persecution. That's why he wasn't afraid of being humiliated. You are afraid of being humiliated. You are afraid of being called names. You are afraid of being shamed. Was Jesus Christ ashamed when he was paraded? Our master, our glorious master Jesus Christ, he was paraded. They, they, they make a, 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 a mockery of him in the open space, like on the market day. They make a mockery of him. They say, yes, your king, yes, your king. He never, he never in any way, he never, he never begrudged all those who persecuted him. He never begrudged all those who, who, who mocked him. He never begrudged them in any way. What did he do? He asked for mercy. Father, forgive them. For they do not know what they are doing. Father, forgive them. For they have turned their back against you. Father, forgive them. For they do not know. They do not know. So he said, Father, forgive them. Still, giving his, himself, his body, still shedding his blood whilst he was being mocked at, whilst he was being laughed at, whilst he was called name, he still shared his body. 
deceased his blood. How glorious! How wonderful! How glorious! How beautiful! Is the King of Glory. Oh, hallelujah! Glory to God. Amen. Can you go back to John? John six, yeah, put it before we partake. So you can start, you can start from verse uh, 53. Amen. Mm. We read from the book of John, chapter 6, verse 53. And Jesus said to them, I assure you, most solemnly, I tell you, you cannot have any life in you unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood. Unless you appropriate his life and the saving merit of his blood. He who feeds on my flesh and drinks my blood has, possesses now eternal life. And I will raise him up from the dead on the last day. Mm -hmm. Verse 55. Mm -hmm. For my flesh is true and genuine food. And my blood is true and genuine drink. He who feeds on my flesh and drinks my blood dwells continually in me. Dwells I, amen. continually in me. Say, he who feeds on my flesh and drinks my blood dwells continually in me. And he said, and I in like manner, meaning now. If you abide in, in John 14, it says, If you abide by my teaching, you are mine. You are mine. And if you are mine, you belong to the Father. You see now, the way to the Father is by abiding in it, abiding in his teaching, holding on to his word, making his word our life. So if he says, He who eats, of me and drink of my blood we will not die but have eternal life and we continually we continually continually remain we continually remain so get the, get, get the mystery behind continually remaining you what you continue to remain not not you 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 partook then it means it's over for the, for, for the day no 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 you continue to remain. You continue to remain. First Corinthians 11, from, from, from verse 23, uh, 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 23 uh, uh, of course. It says, as often as, as often as you partake, as often, as often as you remember. Because in him, there is no limitation. In him, there is no depression. In him, there is no affliction. He says, by his stripes, we are healed. By his blood, we overcame. So now, get the mystery of this blood that came in a cup. Get the mystery. Quickly, 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 open, open to, open to uh, um, Matthew. Go to Matthew 26. Are you there? Yes, sir. Matthew 26. Okay. Um, can you start from um okay, start from verse 26, it's fine. Amen. Mm -hmm. Matthew 26, verse 26. Now, as they were eating, Jesus took bread and praising God, gave thanks and asked him to bless it to their use. 
And when he had broken it, he gave it to the disciples and said, take it, this is my body. And he took a cup and when he has given thanks, he gave it to them saying, drink of it, all of you. For this is my blood of the new covenant, which ratifies the agreement and is being poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. Amen. 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 Now, now, listen, listen. Get also the mystery of the blood. We're talking about the body not long ago. How by his stripe we are healed. So the stripe on our body we carry. So we can face any challenges that this body finds itself. Because by his stripe we are healed. So meaning no sickness has hold over our life. So now a new covenant now he made on our behalf through his blood, the remission of our sin, the atonement of our sin, the blood, the blood. And this blood speaks a better, speaks a better message. Now, get, 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 understand this, 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 this whole thing here because now uh, um, God has sacri uh, 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 sacrificed for two brothers, a better king. And Abel gave his best, and Cain uh, uh, gave what was rotten. And Abel's sacrifice was acceptable for him. And Cain offering was not. And Cain offering, uh, what Cain offered, uh, uh, was not accepted, and it brought, it brought uh, uh, a, a, the inner, the inner thing, the inner self, the innermost of Cain, the innermost of Cain. Get that man, eh? it brought what the innermost because God rejected what he offered. But Cain offered what was good, but he did not even speak of a better message because the, the, his blood cried for vengeance. His blood cried, he failed. His blood cried for vengeance. The blood of Christ speak and plead for peace, for mercy, for love. It didn't cry for vengeance. It cried for it, it, it pleaded for mercy. It pleaded for mercy. Now, the, the blood of our master Jesus Christ, it cleanses. It cleanses. It, it, the blood already finishes everything. Understand this morning, this morning during intercession, not long ago, we, we read uh, 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 Psalms, Psalms 51. Psalms 51. Understand the, the word there. Can you just put your finger here then, while you are here? Can you read Psalms 51, verse 7? Psalm 51, verse 7. Put it. Psalms 51, verse 7. You can read. Put it. Amen. Hmm. We read from the book of Psalms 51, from verse 7. Mm -hmm. Cleanse me with my soap and I shall be clean. Cleanse me. <laughs> cleanse me. See, the blood cleanse. The blood wash. Go on. Cleanse me with my soap and I shall be clean. Wash mm -hmm. me and I shall be whiter than snow. Mm -hmm. Let me hear joy and gladness. Let the folks in your trust rejoice. Bless me, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. If you know what is Isop, Isop was what the, our father drank. He drank from the cross. Because they gave vinegar, he did not drink vinegar. They gave wine. They gave wine. He did not, he did not take wine. They want to know. They want to love the pain so that it can it, 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 it can stay and not die but be in pain. But the eye soap does not do, does not do that. Eye soap does not notify nor ease the pain. So it, it, it drank from the eye eye soap and the, and the pain was clear. Not 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 pain cease because it was bruised for iniquities. Our own transgression. So that we're, we, we're getting to see the importance of the new covenant that the blood did for us. 
Because the old, in the time past, in the time of the old days, the blood that was used there, the blood of the, of the animal, there was, there was no life there. There was no life there. The blood of Christ, it cleanses the old and bring the life. It's a covenant of new life, covenant of mercy, covenant of joy, covenant of life from above. Covenant of what? Life from above. Read the uh, Leviticus. Read the book of Leviticus 17. The book of Leviticus. We're talking about the blood right now. Yes, okay. Leviticus uh, 17. You can read verse 10 and 11. Amen. Leviticus 17, verse 10. And the priest shall examine him. And if there is a white swelling in the skin and the hair, mm -hmm. and it has turned white, and there is quick or no flesh in the swelling, mm -hmm. it is a chronic leprosy in the skin mm -hmm. of his body. Mm -hmm. And the priest shall pronounce him unclean. Mm -hmm. He shall not bind the spot up, for he is unclean. Okay. Uh, just hold on there. Hold on there. Leviticus yes. 17 from verse 10. He yes, says sir. here, any one of the house, any one of the house of Israel or of the strangers who dwell temporarily among them, who eats any kind of blood against that person, I will set my face, I will set my face and I will cut him off from among his people. Listen to that. Any one of the house of Israel, any one of the house of Israel, or of the strangers who dwell temporarily, remember uh, 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 1 Corinthians 3, 1 Corinthians 5, 1 Corinthians 6, 2 Corinthians 3, 2 Corinthians 5, also speak of our body has now become what the temple, the temple of who? Of the Holy Spirit of God. That's what our body is. And we offer our body as a living offering. Not the kind of offering that Cain and Abel did in the time past. But a different kind of offering. The offering that already been offered by God. God offered his holy begotten son unto us. So Leviticus 17 verse 10 says there, Any one of the hearts of Israel or all of the strangers who dwells temporarily among them, who eats any kind of blood against that person, I will set my face and I will cut him off from among his people that he may not be included in the atonement. So as this blood speaks, there are some that it does not speak a better message. But the blood speaks a better message. It speaks a noble message because it's the blood of the new covenant. Do you adhere? Do you rely? Do you hold on? Do you trust it? Revelation 12, 11. How did they overcome? John Patmos wrote by the word of our testimony. By the word of our testimony. It is well. Indeed, it became well. It is well. Indeed, it became well. The blood of the Lamb speaks a better message. Indeed, a better message is received. Indeed, a better message is, 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 is attainable. Verse 11 says, For the life, the animal soul, is in the blood, and I have given it for you upon the altar to make atonement for your soul. For it is the blood that makes atonement. For it is the blood that makes atonement. See what this blood does. So anyone or today, if you if you're feeling if you're feeling that you've sinned against God, as you are going to partake from this blood, as you are going to partake from the blood, as you are going to drink from the blood of Christ, it is over with sin. Anything old. Sin nature over your life. It cleanses. Remember, at Psalm 61, 
it cleanses, it washes, it purifies, it, it, it sanctifies. It moves whatsoever that is in the mind that does not reflect, that does not reflect the things of man. Now, I repeat, the Ventibus 17, verse 11. For the life, the animal soul, is in the blood. And I have given it for you upon the altar to make atonement for your soul. For it is the blood that makes atonement by raising of this life, which is represent. It's the blood that make atonement. It's the blood. It's the blood. Whilst the ones that offered a sacrifice that was acceptable, that was acceptable because he gave his best. Yet, his blood was crying for vengeance. Avenge me. Avenge me. When God says, I desire mercy, God says, I desire mercy. It's merciful. So his blood did not plead for mercy. Now here comes a better blood. Here comes a better blood. That was offered. He offered a sacrifice to God on our behalf. As, a, as a, our atonement, meaning remission of sin, meaning the mm. guilt, the condemnation that comes with what we went through, with how we perceive, with how we speak, with how we act. That's why in him there is no condemnation. In him there is no truth. So as, we, as he came, he came and presented himself. He offered himself. Do whatever you do. So they beat him. They smacked him. They battered him. They wounded him. But all of that was recorded so that anything that is of this world will not have hold over the life of God's own chosen. That's why First uh, Peter 2, 9 called us that we are of what? A royal, a royal, a royal chosen generation from a royal priesthood. So his blood makes us royal. So we are priests on this earth. We are kings on this earth. So if you are priests on this earth, we have him. Who, 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 Hebrews 4, Hebrews 4 from verse 12, 15 and 16 says, we cannot say we do not have a chief high priest. Chief high priest. One who daily intercedes, so we are priests, is our chief high priest. We are kings, we are kings, is our king. He's the king of kings. His blood makes us king from a royal king. So we are kings on this earth, but he now is our king of kings. So we we, we, we we eat from one who is our king of kings. We eat on his body and we drink from the one who is our chief priest. Who always intercedes for us. So as we continue to eat, as we continue to partake from him, he continually remains. He continually remains. As we are in him, he continually remains in us. I declare right now, whatever you have in your home right now, whatever that is present, Whatever you have there, whatever you have there, I declare it to become the body. I declare what you have here now to become the body. Whatever that is on, whatever you have there right now, it does not become the body. This is the body. This is the blood. The blood of the new covenant. The blood that speaks a better message. This is the blood of the new covenant. 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 Can, can we just go back to uh, 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 Matthew 26 there quickly? This is the blood of the new covenant. As we are about to partake now. Matthew 26. Okay, now it says. Verse 27. It took. And he took a cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink of it, all of you. Now, this is a command that he gave. Drink of it. He gave thanks. And you know what it means when one gives thanks? You acted according to the will of God. Because giving thanks is God's will. Giving thanks is God's will. So he gave thanks and he gave a command. Drink, eat, drink of it. Drink of it from the cup of the Father. From the cup of the Father. They drank from the cup of the Father. So their true intent 
which will be made with you. Now, verse, verse uh, uh, 28 says, For this is my blood of the new covenant, which ratifies the agreement and is being poured out for many for the forgiveness of sin. It, listen, it is not a blood that speaks of vengeance. It is not a blood that cries for vengeance. Avenge me, Lord. Lord, they are mocking at me, my enemy. May my enemy be scattered. Lord, scatter my enemy. God, scatter my enemy. God, shame my enemy. No, 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 no. Listen, your enemy must live to see the goodness of God in you so that your enemy also will become a friend of God. You are in the business of killing your foes. The true enemy is the one that is unseen. Second Corinthians chapter 10, verse 3 to 5 says, We are not in the battle of flesh. So that you don't see the flesh as your enemy. Rather, what is behind that person that made that person to act in that manner? You arrest that principality that is behind that person. You address that principality that makes that person to act in that manner. You arrest that hatred that that person has towards you because hatred is a demon. You address that demon of hatred in the life of that person. You address that demon of gossip in the life of that person. Not you seeing that person in a, in a wrong manner. Not you attacking that person in a wrong manner. What does that become of you? What does that say of you? So this is a blood. Hebrews 12 verse 24 says, the sprinkle of prevailing blood. It was sprinkled on every corner of our life because it continually speaks, speaks a better and a noble message. As we are going to partake right now, blessed viewers, wherever you are, Eat with us, drink with us for the glory of God. And as you partake, it is over with whatsoever that stands itself against your life. As you are partaking, as you are eating, as you are drinking, it is over with whatsoever that comes to steal from your life. It is over with whatsoever that in that from your life. Eat, drink for the glory of God. Can yes, you can partake. Glory to God. Glory to the Master. We say thank you, Father. Mm. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Hmm. Glory to our master. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Listen, viewers, we thank God for this wonderful meeting. Uh, we thank God for causing us to be and remain in this presence. We thank God for the mystery of the body and the blood of our glorious master, Jesus Christ. As we continue to partake, in his unfailing grace, his unfailing mercy. And we thank God for this wonderful, wonderful, uh, well spent time in his presence. For the word says, where two, three are gathered for his name's sake, right there, it's here in our midst. So, right now, Paul will minister. Uh, we like to uh, uh, call on those who want to give their life to Christ. And as we have declared that uh, the blood had already spoken, 
a better message and bring it to the new covenant. We're just gonna add the voice, just just so that those who uh, did not meet or those who were not present at the time that message was uh, uh, delivered, at the time the message was given, so that uh, all can be saved. So I'm just gonna ask uh, my sister, Apostle Jazri, to kindly lead us with this message of salvation uh, to the glory of God. Amen. 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 Amen at home. Viewers at home, those who hear the word of the Lord and receive it. Remember, Jesus Christ says, when you pray to the Father, he said, Father, I pray for this. I gave them the words that you have given me. And they have received it. Amen. I'm praying for you right now. Follow me as you have received the word. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I declare your lordship. I come to you today, wash me with the precious blood of Jesus Christ and the living word of God. Make me whiter. Remove your face from my sins as you are blotting them out right now. Indeed, you are Lord. You are my savior. You are my redeemer and Messiah. Welcome me in the kingdom and teach me your ways. In Jesus Christ's name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Therefore, you are welcome, viewers. You are welcome in this kingdom. You are welcome in this house in the mighty name of Jesus. Encourage yourself now that you gave your life to Christ. You encourage yourself with the word of God. Read the word. Read it, the word. He is the bread of, of the living uh, 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 life. Of a, he is the living bread. He is the life of the world. You find him in the word. You find the direction in the word. For the word, it is a mirror. We look ourselves on the word. When we, 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 we seek advice, we look at the word. What is the word saying? And remember, that word is here in you. Be blessed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's clap hands for them as I hand over to my father, Apostle Kenneth C.J. Creeps. Amen, 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 amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Let's continue to clap those hands. Let's continue to clap those hands. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to our King. Glory to our Savior. Uh, we bless the name of the Lord. Uh, we thank God for this uh a beautiful, beautiful uh, fellowship as we welcome those who just give their life to our God. Thank you so much uh, for honoring Christ, the beauty of the Lord upon your lives. Thank you for accepting Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior of your life. Uh, thank you for welcoming him. And he has come with the peace, the peace of God. He has come with the joy of the Lord. And may the joy of the Lord continue to be your strength. And uh, we pray that you may remain as we now welcome you and call you our brothers, our sisters, uh, we thank God for that beautiful life. And may you seek where you will be nurtured to grow in his presence. Seek where you will be nurtured with the word of God, where you eat daily and feed on the word of God. Uh, it is the living word. It is the word that grow you into the spiritual maturity. God loves you. God is with you. I will bless you for your life. Uh, we thank God for this wonderful time. We said, "Yes, we are just going to minister the word." I just want to minister the word, and as we are uh, uh, ministering the word, do not forget that on Wednesday uh, we're starting the the passing from the house, as our Father Papa as uh, uh, commanded and instructed. Uh, we're going, you know, it's, it's a lifestyle. It's not uh, we're not uh, 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 we not do that exercise to be to be re to be recognized. Uh, it has become a, a lifestyle of all the rabbinites and where we 
uh, offer our offer ourselves uh, Second Corinthians chapter five verse one. Offer ourselves the thanksgiving to the Father, uh, offering our lives to the Father, and let the Lord God Almighty do as He wills. Remember, we belong to Him, and uh, we are His. So we give ourselves for us to be for us to be used according to His will, according to His purpose. So we are looking forward as to the start of Wednesday. Uh, I also believe that uh, <clears throat> some of our brothers also are starting tomorrow. Uh, just honor, honor how the Spirit of the Lord leads you as you follow the teachings that they will be giving in the course of this uh, uh, remaining weeks into the next uh, new month. Uh, we thank God for this wonderful time. Uh, there is someone, uh, we thank God for your life. Um, you had a dream of piercing in your abdomen. You have a dream of piercing in your abdomen. And since you woke up, and this was not yesterday, this was about three days ago, since you woke up in three days, it didn't you didn't felt you didn't felt it the same instantly when you woke up, but you start having that pain since after after a whole after 24 hours. Let me say after 24 hours later, that's when you start experiencing that piercing. It was in your in your abdomen, uh in your abdomen, your kidney area, your kidney area. I pray right now, any kidney infection come against your life. I declare no weapon of the enemy formed against your kidney, form against your life, will prevail over your life. I declare your life, I declare your body untouchable in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I declare your health untouchable in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The body and the blood that you partook from right now. And please uh, get whatever as we are going to declare anything that is in your home, anything that is in your kitchen to remain the blood, the body of Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We declare what you have in your fridge. We declare the tap in your home to become the blood of Christ. We declare all what you have in your fridges, in your refrigerators, in your kitchen cupboards, in your cabinets, in your pantry, we declare everything there to become the body of Christ. We declare all the food stuff, all the all the fruits, all the bakery, all the confectionaries. We declare it to become the body of Christ. We declare all the drinks, the water, the wines, the juice. We declare to become the blood of Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Check yourself, check yourself, check your kidney. Press, press, and see that piercing is no more right now. That old of piercing that comes. That piercing that steals from your body, from your life right now, has been exposed from your body. It has been exposed from your life right now. That old is broken permanently. So I declare this to be remain permanent upon your life. I declare this to be, to be permanent over upon you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Okay, uh, okay there's also someone. Um, God loves you. God is with you. Um, I just want to advise you. Uh, the, 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 the state of your mind state of your mind is the reason why you are having that heaviness. Uh, it's not uh, uh, as you as you as you uh, as you heard or as you thought hey don't send it to someone in, in the place. Yes you have an argument with someone and the person you have an argument with is known for uh, a certain thing but it's not what is wrong with you. Talking to, I'm talking to someone, a person you had an argument with someone, someone who does fetish things, okay? but it's not what is affecting your body. It's your way, your way, your mind, the way you, the way you thought about it. And, and I believe when 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 we get when we during this uh, message of sermon, say sometimes uh, a person uh, creates self-made a uh, uh, problem. So I can I can liken your case to that. Uh, Colossians three, please uh, be advised. Colossians three says, set your mind on things of God. Don't don't worry yourself with whatever this person can do. Jesus says to us, should you be afraid of what can only touch the water but but not the water. not what can touch your spirit or your soul, what can only come and, and, and touch your 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 water body. So remain. Fearful of, of God and not anything. Get your mind off those things because we are calling images that is not of God into your life and your, your, you are experiencing heaviness now. Heaviness. Because anytime something good is about to happen, your thought takes you and, and now failure now comes. So heaviness, you have heaviness on your head. I pray for you right now. Be relieved from those heaviness. To release your mind 
from all fearful objects, from all fearful things. May your mind remain in the abode of the Father in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May your mind remain in the abode of, of the King of Glory. May nothing, may nothing comes into your mind. Nothing that steals joy comes into your mind in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May your mind remain according to the will of the Father. The blood of Christ cleanses, purifies, sanctify your mind and to set your mind on things from above and you remain there in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. This week, may the blessing of the Lord locate you from wherever you are in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May the blood of the Lamb, the blood of Christ, the precious preventive of the Father, continually speaks a better message over your life, a better message upon your life, a better message upon your body right now. May you be set free from all evil foundation. May you be set free from all evil plan. May you be set apart from all evil manipulation. No evil traps sent against you even over your life. No evil deeds done against your life, against your family, against your children, against your finances, against your health, against your marriage, against your career, against your business, against your ministry. No evil done, fashion, formed against them all will prevail over them the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We declare right now the life of abundance that you have received today remain abundantly upon you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We will restore your dreams right now. The unfailing glory of the Father overshadow your life right now. Restoring your dreams right now. Restoring your stolen glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your life has been restored. Your body has been restored. Your health has been restored in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are blessed in your going out. You are blessed in your coming in right now. The world of God goes ahead of you. Goes ahead of every way, every path of ways that you'll be embarking on this week. The word of the Lord goes ahead of you right now to strengthen every crooked pathway, to level mountain of human obstacles. I declare nothing shall hinder your work with the victory that the Father has given to you right now. The path of success has already been made for you right now. You are successful even before you begin to see it with your eyes. You are successful even before you begin to walk through it, through them all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray for your loved ones. I pray for your families right now. The blood of Christ that you partake from right now speaks on their behalf right now. As you partake, you partake on their behalf right now. Whoever that is facing all kind of sickness, any kind of disease, any kind of infirmity, any kind of old, any kind of bondage, addiction of all kinds, the blood of Christ that you partook from right now begin to speak a better message upon your family, begin to speak a better message upon your loved ones right now. The word of God set them free. The word of God give them life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It is well with your life. It is well with your body. They've been restored from the crown of their head to the sole of your feet. I declare freedom upon you. I declare freedom over your life. I declare freedom over your family in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This week remain yours in the mighty name of Jesus Christ as you enter into the second week of this new year and this new month that God Almighty has given to us. May the unfailing joy of the Father continue to favor you in any way, in all aspect of your life, in every dimension of your body, in every dimension of your life. May the joy of the Lord continue to strengthen you. You are strengthened from all weaknesses. You are strengthened from all hatred. You are strengthened from all limitation. You are strengthened from all disappointment. You are strengthened from all setback in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord God Almighty loves you right now. Be blessed. Remain blessed. May, you, may the King of Glory continue to reveal himself to you in, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God loves you. Stay blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. Glory to our Savior. Glory to our King. Hallelujah. Blessed be us. We thank God. We thank God for this wonderful time. A well spent time in the presence of the Father. Thank you so much for being with us. Uh, thank you so much for allowing the Holy Spirit to use you mightily so. Uh, thank you also for the beautiful comments. Uh, thank you for all the prayer requests. Uh, we continue to pray for all the prayer requests that we continue to receive. And we continue to declare that the message of the Lord is active about all the prayer requests. As we know that uh, uh, he that watches over your life never sleeps nor slumber. The grace of the Lord is upon you in abundance. So in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And also we appreciate the testimonies that are sent. And keep sending those testimonies, keep sending those appreciation messages, and God, uh, the God of God will continue to guide you and be with you all the more. And also, if you love to give to this ministry, if the Spirit of the Lord has made it in your heart to give to this ministry, uh, you can use those numbers that are appearing on the uh, messages on the Facebook there, and we will tell you how to go about it. Uh, we love you, God loves you. Remain blessed from us. It is to God be the glory. Uh, not to forget, we'll be joining Rabboni House uh, shortly from 2. So we are going off air right here. We'll meet again uh, tomorrow uh, from uh, Monday Bible session. Uh, we go with uh, uh, with the teaching as the Holy Spirit leads, as the Holy Spirit directs. We've been fed. 
ate, we drank, and we remain in the Father as the Father remained in us. So we love you. God loves you. Remain blessed. Remember, this year remains the year of divine favor and divine joy. Uh, is uh, is the year of trusting in Christ a uh, uh, sacrifice. Uh, trust in what God has given to you. Trust upon what God has said about you. Hold on to His word. Rely on His word. Uh, uh, do not let do not let anything to rob you from what you know. Uh, remain in the word and begin and also uh, meditating on the word over your life. Uh, meditation is calling the things of God to reality. So God loves you. God is with you. Remain blessed. It is to God be the glory from this time. We love you all. Amen.